Each of these three devices utilizes magnets to levitate different objects. In the case of these two, they levitate globes, and in this case, a magnetic ball, or magnetic sphere. Now, the means by which they achieve this levitation varies from device to device. This particular device utilizes a microchip that turns on and off an electromagnet in the top here at a particular frequency that allows this globe to levitate perfectly. So there's a permanent magnet in this globe, an electromagnet in here. I will demonstrate that there are no strings attached. This device achieves the same goal, utilizing a different means. There is an infrared beam which is emitted across a plane here. If you disrupt this, when the ball levitates towards an electromagnet in here, it disrupts this infrared beam, turning off an electromagnet in the top here. When that beam is turned off, the ball drops a little bit. When it drops outside of the infrared beam here, it is turned back on, allowing the ball to appear as if it is levitating, even though it is really being attracted and dropping at a particular frequency. I'll disrupt the beam so you can see that the ball will drop. And here's the little hole where the infrared beam is sent. This particular device utilizes a similar strategy. On the top of this globe, there is a reflective surface, which reflects another infrared beam from the top here, which is emitted from the top here, off of the globe, back in. It also controls an electromagnet in the top of this, and there is a permanent magnet in the base of this globe, or in the top of this globe, excuse me. I'll disrupt it and show you that it falls. And as you can see, there's a reflective surface on the top.